You scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being it. bullied. How could... Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yo, Max! Check it out! Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Daniel posted it online already? That was nice. Congrats. You're part of his online portrait posse. Don't be jealous. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. Oh, you're a wit, Max. It's the company I keep, Warren. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. <laughs> I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? 
I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescott's own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My
My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. She looks super happy. It won't play without any power. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Is this a desk or a storage space? So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Who'd have thunk Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. We had such a blast drawing these together. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. I think this junk swallowed her discs. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I don't feel grown-up, just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved.